all Gigafactory updates, welcome to My Tesla Weekend. Giga Shanghai. The northeast corner, which had previously been nothing more than a temporary location for container offices, has had its foundation work advanced to almost complete, with steel moving from a few vertical columns to quite a few, as well as a number of horizontal beams, with a lot more steel delivered on site for immediate erection. The steel structure to the north of Phase 2 is moving along nicely though not breaking any records exactly. It already spans its full intended width and looks like it may complete its shell in the next couple weeks. The eastward expansion into the former farmland has seen a lot more concrete pads poured with new grading taking place. I've seen the question asked if this will be for buildings. It will not. This is parking because there are no foundations being poured. The area between buildings is cleared out and we may see some work commence here soon. As Giga Shanghai is simply out of space and this land is as good as any. The new access road and bridge on the east side are looking pretty paved, with a significant portion of the bridge span installed for continued work toward imminent completion. I expect to see this area ready for use within about a month. Giga Berlin. With the holidays over, they're back at full steam, with significant wall segments complete on the south face of the building, and a lot of work going on inside with the installation of equipment that's not visible from the air. There's a fair amount of earth being moved inside to accommodate the loading docks, but that's likely to be backfilled almost immediately, as soon as the concrete is poured. On the east side, the loading docks are being completed, and additional columns are being hoisted into place with more concrete roof elements. On the north side of the building, not pictured unfortunately, there's been substantial work to complete the exterior face of the structure, though there will be additional new space there soon as the foundations have been completed for quite some time. I would like to show this, and I can show this, but there's an amazing time lapse available on Tobias Lin's channel, which I'd rather just link to in the corner and in the description below, because it shows just how quickly that end is shaping up. And again, thank you as always to Tobias for allowing the use of his amazing footage. But the bottom line is, I really want you guys to go check his, his work out, look at his channel. It's so good. It's so good. You gotta subscribe to him. In addition to the switchyard that we have seen constructed on site, there's a much larger switchyard which has gone from clearing the land to having a significant skeleton in place which will surely be complete well in advance of Giga Berlin going online. Giga Texas. Instead of using the usual Sunday update from Jeff Roberts, we need to look back one day earlier to the Saturday footage because as you can see here, it apparently snows in Texas once in a while. It's not often enough for ground crews to require equipment to handle it since it's generally gone within a day. If you wanna see the latest from Texas, head over to Jeff's channel in the description. Jeff Roberts is an amazing drone pilot. But it's been a big week nonetheless. 
The main steel structure now has its roof all the way to the north end of the building, and the concrete columns where the giga castings will live is almost ready for horizontal beams. The interior now has a huge amount of second floor concrete poured and finished. A new steel outcropping has extended all the way to the east edge of the building's footprint, which will be three floors when completed. The main building now extends significantly further south. We're still not sure which part of the site will be home to the construction of your Cybertruck, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you have any ideas, please share them in the comments, because I'm curious what you guys think. A lot of new footings are being dug along the center of the site and extending further south. Footings also have been finished connecting from the large concrete columns we just saw all the way to the southern edge of the property where the mega bunker is located. At the mega bunker, if you will, or cathedral, if you won't, a lot of new columns have gone up with new roof beams as well. At this corner, we can see some earthworks expanding south toward the river, which may be used as an additional stormwater retention pond, I'm guessing, based on its sloped shape. If you tune in for my weekly Giga Texas math update, that should be out by Tuesday morning. And as you can imagine, there's good news to be shared. Hit subscribe if you want to be notified when that's published, since it's the only way YouTube knows the sort of stuff you're interested in. On the west side, the foundation work has moved south, and it's just a flurry of activity. The smaller steel building now extends all the way to the western perimeter, roughly doubling the footprint, and reaching skyward from a single floor to as many as three to four floors with roof supports already in place. From here we can see that the main steel structure has also expanded westward. Around the site, there's been quite a bit of earthworks underway. To the east of the southeast corner, we can see more grading taking place. Over by the Martin Marietta plant, there's new fresh dirt being moved around. And there's also quite a bit of work taking place near the concrete batch plant, near the former bag plant as well. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots 
from at least six feet away from the flippity flop. Boom! Boom! Expectations subverted. <laughs>